that you must know the age. For nearly 12 months, we got baptized. We just had no time to get wrong. When the water leave of holy water poured over the she was, sorry, she had been given her name. Well, she up, was on foot, and met Farrell, Farrell Raven at the time, in the jar, blew him back on the floor there of consternation, and the doctor called and he was in the hospital. Three weeks he's been in there. At a very early age, she wanted to be a nun. She wanted to be a nun. We were delighted, but very surprised. But if that's what she wanted to be, we would want to leave her it. And after she went to a convent in Dublin, we were devastated. But like I that, she was in the dorm, the door a week later. Once she realized that none of the girls would have a survive in the morning, that was the end of that. Vocational guy. She's great to, she's not great to get up in the morning. That's one of her biggest problems. There's no morning she's not a bit before fifteen. That, that one matter next week and you realize uh be no no morning they'll be up before dinner time. <laughs> She was always a very friendly child, extremely friendly. When a man marries the right woman, he's complete. When a 
man may leave the Rama one, he's finished. <laughs>
Now you can very well get no more lead for 15 euros. Now they're fair trade with money lead. So he said he'd think about it. He came back after a couple of days and he said, we'll ship it all. The undertaker said, 1,500 carry up here, he said, in about 40 places on earth. No, he said, we'll ship it all. Because the last time my husband Philip been carried out here, he was up again in three days and I couldn't take the chance of him. Rose mulled in, she got yesterday. Oh, we talked to Winnie, you'd have to be kind of. In and out of town all day. And eventually I found out they were looking for a, 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 a soft cushion. I only learned to find a girl that she'd have a hemorrhoid. <laughs> and she really didn't turn into a whole pile. <laughs> Yes. 
I phoned her number. I got it off that. Have you credit? Look, we keep it later. We keep it later. Right. And hang on and find it there. No, it was late. <clears throat> I got this in the fax this morning. It's a fairly crappy fax. <clears throat> Dick, Mona, this is from Justin McCarthy. <clears throat> Lads, sorry I couldn't be with you on this special day. But Dick, just remember, marriage is like a game of hurling. You have to toughen up, right? <laughs> toughen up for her. And remember, I was tune in, right? <laughs> I have a message from Barry Fitz, who's also on his honeymoon. The love doctor himself. <laughs> he said, look, you will be grand, Dick. Because remember, every good dog has to find his bitch eventually. <laughs>